natural resources are very important for living things. Humans, animals, plants need natural resources to survive. This is why conserving natural resources are important. Conserving natural resources means protecting natural resources. What happens if we do not conserve important things like water and clean air? And how do we conserve our natural resources? We will find out through this video. Hello everyone! Welcome back to Fun Science with me, Mr. Pan. How are you feeling today? Are you happy? Or are you sleepy? Hmm, you probably need a little bit stretching on your body. You may stretch your arms and legs. Try it out. How is it now? Feeling better? Good. Today, we are going to discuss how we can conserve our natural resources. However, before we start our lesson, let's pray first. Let's pray together. Amen. Some natural resources cannot be renewed or replaced. These resources may run out due to overuse by humans. It is our responsibility to conserve the Earth's natural resources. By doing this, we can create a balance between the amount of resources we have and the amount we need. It is important to reduce, reuse, and recycle the materials we obtain from our natural resources where possible. Reduce means reducing the waste we make. We can reduce our use of water by turning the tap off properly. We'd better wash the fruits and vegetables in a basin instead of using running water. Then, we can use the water to water the plants. Reuse means using some items more than once. We can reuse plastic bottles as a plant spot or pencil holders. Recycle means creating new products which are useful from recyclable items. Therefore, it is important to put different types of trash in correct bins, like what these kids are doing. So, can you do reduce, reuse, and recycle, guys? Fossil fuels are an example of natural resources that cannot be replaced. Conserving fossil fuels will help to ensure that we have enough for our future generations. The burning fuels causes air pollution, which is one of the environmental problems we have today. We can help reduce the amount of air pollution by using less fuels. We can walk or cycle instead of taking cars. We can also take public transportation such as a bus or a train. Look at these pictures. These kids are walking to school instead of taking a car. Meanwhile, this family are cycling to go to nearby places instead of taking a car. Now, how about you guys? Plants. We need trees to live. The air we breathe and the wood we use come from trees. This makes forests an important natural resource for humans. Forests also provide food, water, and shelter for many living things. We can conserve our forest by stopping the illegal logging. We can also prevent our forest from forest fire. Moreover, we can take an action by planting more trees. Let us make our earth green again. Metal Unlike wood, metal is a material that cannot be replaced. We can conserve the amount of metal in our environment by reusing of recyclable objects made of metal. 
steel can be recycled to make some types of pipes. Alright everyone, now it's trivia time. Open your activity book, do the work on pages 40 and 41. Write your answer and post them in the comments. I will respond directly and discuss together. Alright, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next session on Science Today Wastewater Treatment. Moreover, I'll see you in a Zoom meeting to discuss the review you need. Thank you for watching. Stay happy and healthy. Stay safe and stay at home. Remember to wear your mask and see you next week. Bye-bye everyone.